Well, basically, when I started, when I was 10 years old, I actually had a few really bad accidents, and that actually made me stop kite surfing for five years. And then when I was 15, I tried it again and realized this sport is incredible. Like, there's nothing that makes me feel more alive or free than kite surfing. And then, basically, since I was 15 years old, I have, yeah, been, yeah, it's then my life turned around, and it's been like the, yeah. took, took over my whole life. I'll say, I'll say. All right, so now you're an absolute champion. You're a beast out there on that board. What do you think is, like, your coolest stunt or stunts that you can do? I think my kind of signature tricks are definitely the dark slides and um, a freestyle trick called the, the back mob. So, yeah, <laughs> those are my definitely my favorite tricks, too. Like, I do this one where I spin loads. Like, I do, like, four front rolls. Um, and that looks pretty cool. It's like a kind of corkscrew, like corkscrew just keeps spinning. <laughs> and the dark slide is where you kind of flip the board. So you kind of go forward and like flip the board on its like the other side and it kind of creates a lot of spray. Nice. And um, yeah, that feels, that feels pretty nice. I <laughs> love it. I love it. I did that once, uh, but it was on accident and then I got injured. So uh, yeah. All, all accidental oh, backslides for me. Yeah, no, hey, so you're a world <laughs> champion at this. How do, you, how do you prepare for these competitions? I think it, the preparation is key to doing well in the competition. So, you know, I spend a lot of time practicing the tricks that I'm going to perform in the competition. So it's like the second nature to me. But what's hard about kite surfing is the weather. Like, it's constantly changing every day. I mean, as you guys on the weather, you must know, way more about this than me but yeah like and every country has different kind of winds so it's just important to get out in as many different conditions as possible and that helps um with your consistency and um, to perform the tricks and just like mentally you have to in the competition you just have to no matter who you've got against your heat you've got to kind of prepare yourself to think like okay this is going to be awesome like no matter yeah. if even if you're having a, a crappy day you're not feeling good you've got to be like just ready in your head there you go. That's a good metaphor for life, I tell you. Listen, you touched on uh, something that we love here at Fox Weather, the weather. So now I've got to ask you, what, it, what are the best kite surfing conditions? How, how fast do you like the wind to blow? Because I assume you want a little bit of a breeze, right? But not, not like a gale force wind. Yes, well, I like it. I mean, normally I like about 20, like 25 miles per hour. That's like when it starts to get really fun with the kite surfing. But I also like it when uh, there's a big storm predicting on the weather. That gets me really excited um, because it feels like I'm really going out to battle when I'm going kiting then because I'm, I'm sometimes not sure if I'm going to be okay because yeah. it's really extreme conditions. And then I'm like really calculated in my head. And um, yeah, it's like gets me scared. And that's what kind of like the adrenaline is going and yeah. stuff. And I try and do these kite loops when it's really strong. So when it's like, 45 miles an hour that's when it like 50 miles an hour that's when it gets really scary and gotcha. if you loop the kite you generate the most pull in the like so it's um yeah it gets really scary and that's when it gets really fun so if you've got any good storms coming please let me know <laughs> and I'll, I'll head there on the storm chase